Hello folks, welcome to Toy Reel. I'm Jason the Bruce, and today we're opening up another figure from the Animals of the Warrior Kingdom. Today is the Horrid Ravager. At the time of recording, there is actually a Kickstarter up by these guys. It's not why I'm doing this video. They don't know that I'm recording this video. It just happens to be a coincidence that I receive these at the time that is happening. Um, I will put a link in the show notes just in case you're curious. Um, like I said, they have no knowledge that I'm doing this video at all. Um, this figure is one that the moment I saw, this is actually one of the two figures that made me pledge uh, because I looked at this and I went, oh, there's just something really cool about this idea. Um, I'm a big fan of the Planet of the Eights movies, the modern series, um, more so than the previous ones. I really, really, really like this modern series that we've been having over the last decade or so. Uh, really excited for the new one. And it just screams that to me. I know that's not necessarily what they're aiming for, but it's just what appealed to me. I just really, really wanted them. Uh, and I don't want to wait anymore. So again, we're looking at really simple packaging. We have exactly the same backdrop behind the figure as the previous one. Uh, so there's nothing really different here. On the back, we have... Essentially the same guys. And again, look at this artwork. How can you not love this artwork? It's just phenomenal. You get another version of it on the side, which is this, exactly the same piece of artwork, but blown up a little more. I don't know who the artist is, but they're fantastic. And here we are with the contents of the package. So, I'm going to start with the helmet like I did with the previous one. It appears... Yeah, so this is exactly the same helmet. It's just different colouring. Which is fine, I have no problem with that at all. And honestly, yeah, it still kind of works. Really nicely. I don't have a problem with this at all. It just fits really well. So again, why are we not doing more of this? Uh, we've got three weapons here. We have this gorgeous looking falchion. Falchion? Falchion or scimitar? No, it's a falchion because it's larger, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. And dagger. I mean, this is fantasy versus science fiction, I guess. I guess the only thing I want to say is that maybe the silver is a little bit too bright. I think I would have preferred a gunmetal as opposed to the silver on this. But then, from a pricing standpoint, that would add more costs, I suppose. It is a really nice looking gun, though. It does look really nice. In the orange baggie, we get two... I'm going to choke you out, hands. Grrr. And two punchy fists. Left and right, obviously. And then we get to our main attraction, let's be fair. His armor on this particular one, if anything, is even nicer than the previous one. Uh, face obviously has more paint than the previous one does, because that's just the design. Um, overall, I think there is a little bit more painting detail on this. We've got two different shades of blue. We've got the green touched in. Uh, plus, we've got this light metallic blue that's happening in places as well as the gold. Uh, Articulation-wise, should be the same as the previous one. So, the ball is nice. We've got the same butterfly joint. It does feel stiffer than my previous one did. 
So this particular one can go back about 15, 20 degrees. It can't go forward at all though. Like there is no forward. Um, just because of the way that the armor has been designed. Bicep rotation. Double hinged elbow. Obviously the hand can move. All the way around. I don't really think you'll have many reasons to do that, honestly. Bicep crunch is just as nice as the previous one. And I didn't notice this with the previous one, but there is a tilt there as well. Um, when, I'm when I'm crunching this... Is it sound there I don't like um, legs will come out a little bit further just because of the design will allow for it more because there is a split here so you can do the full splits if you really wanted to knee nice double nice double knee there about the same as the previous one we looked at The foot can go down pretty much all the way. You're going to have the same limitation on the way up because the the shin guard gets in the way. And you have rocking as well. So, as far as articulation is concerned, he's just as nice as the previous one. Um, if we want to change over one of the hands... It's the same sort of peg that most of them have. I didn't actually show off the peg in the previous video. Goes in and out quite easily. So, hands-wise, the gun, you're actually better off using what I'm calling the choking you out hands. That is what looks natural when you're putting it together. It just doesn't work with, with the official grabby hands. Really nice looking weapon here. Uh, these spikes are quite painful <laughs> if you're pressing into them, so be careful. Uh, but I will slit you. It's a nice looking weapon, honestly. And it looks quite nice with the gun as well. Honestly, I, I do love both looks. It looks just absolutely phenomenal. It just works. It just works. And there we are. That's the Horrid Ravager. Uh, once again with this one, I'm putting it back in the box just to protect it until I'm ready to put this on display. Um, of these first two figures, the thing that really stands out to me is something, honestly, I never really gave two thoughts about, which is the helmet. Like, seriously. Like, the reason that we always get these spare heads with and without helmets on is we're always told that it's the only way to make it work. And I'm oversimplifying that, of course, but this works really well. Granted, yes, it's also a piece that could go missing, but I don't understand why we don't see more of this. This works really well. I'm very, very happy with this. Lord knows I waited long enough for it, but I'm really, really happy. These so far are looking phenomenal. Like, seriously, they look great. I've got very little negative to say. I have nothing negative to say. Like, seriously, it's that good. If you see them out there, go and have a look at them. Seriously. This episode of Toy Reel is proudly brought to you by Cool Toys Club and... Joy Toy World.